Hi guys, welcome to our channel Tech Traps. We present to you what's new, what matters and how technology can enrich your life. I am your host Sohani Khanna. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Today we bring to your notice topics prevailing in NASA's mission. A new topic is hiring NASA's astrophysics team which can prove to be an excellent opportunity for humankind. Regolithing the moon or lunar surface is what is the focus of NASA. What this means is NASA is planning to drill inside the moon's soil to find resources like water or other primary materials for construction. Regolith is a blanket of unconsolidated loose heterogeneous dust, broken rocks and other related materials and is present on Earth, the Moon, Mars, some asteroids and other terrestrial planets. Let's understand how it all started. It all began back when NASA reached the Moon in July 1969 as a part of Apollo 11 mission. It was the moment that the world had been waiting for Apollo 11 followed by six further trips to the Moon, five of which landed successfully. After 55 years, NASA is using its advanced technology to focus on regolithing on the moon. Now let's understand what it means. NASA plans on constructing houses on the moon's soil and planning human settlement on the lunar surface. Regolithing doesn't limit till there. Plants can grow in lunar regolith. They were not as robust as plants grown in earth soil or even as those in the control group grown in lunar soil made from volcanic ash but they did indeed grow. This is not a mere imagination but a soon to come to reality that NASA is working on. By 2040, they plan on establishing human settlement by regolith lunar soil such that they can create safe habitats for humans. 3D printings and robotic systems are playing a vital role in making NASA's vision come true. It must sound very easy for NASA, but it isn't. NASA has to overcome various challenges to achieve this mission which include dealing with moon dust, building infrastructure and finding, handling, transporting fuels. Now let's understand these challenges in detail. The problem with moon dust. At the time of Apollo missions, astronauts faced a high risk of dust related damage to space hardware as well as astronauts health. Lunar dust includes various harmful materials that humans if exposed to will be very harmful. If you are planning to take humans to the moon, especially for settlement, it is essential to consider all such factors that could harm their health on the moon. What could be the possible solution? NASA answered that it is exploring the use of non-contact, electrostatic, dust charging technology to protect the important assets without letting any barrier in the mission's parameters. Drilling on the moon is another problem. Drilling the moon is not only digging up the lunar surface, but also trying to search for ice and other potential resources. Their team will be divided into various categories and will dig up to only 3 feet below the lunar surface to search for resources and not lead to exploitation of resources. Last but not the least, the problem of extracting, packing and transport. Living off the land will never be easy, but the advancement of technology that NASA is offering like a sun heating storage facility etc. Minerals are composed of iron and titanium oxide, which is a major resource for oxygen that is extracted from the lunar surface. All the fuels and minerals will be cold compressed then transported both ways. What is the main obstacle in NASA's lunar plan? NASA lacks a robust rocket that can facilitate the construction of a space station on the moon. The rocket used to take astronauts to the moon in the Apollo missions is no longer in production. NASA has adopted a step-by-step -step plan for its lunar aspirations. It has made a plan for sustainable human presence on the moon by 2030, initiating habitats and foundational infrastructure. Let's understand this process. First, we have exploration. Explorations of moon, regolith or soil are essential before even considering starting the human settlement. So while considering the moon dust, potential resources should be thoroughly examined while drilling inside the moon. Scientists and space planners have long acknowledged that extended human residence on the moon would be greatly aided by the use of local resources. This would avoid the high cost of lifting payloads against the Earth's strong gravity. 
Certainly, lunar soil could be used for shielding habitats against the radiation environment. More advanced uses of lunar resources are possible, but how advantageous they would be is presently unknown. Secondly, we have prospecting. After exploration of the lunar surface, it is important to analyze what are the priority resources that we have to extract to divide and prioritize construction, resources and focus on human habitation. The last step in the process is extracting. Extracting is the last process which will only be conducted keeping all the legal and sustainable parameters in mind without harming the natural habitat of the moon. After understanding the obstacles and the rigorous process, we must also understand the significance of this million dollar project. The lunar soil possesses a problem for any moving parts of telescopes and can be mixed with carbon for the construction of mirrors. Building observatories facilities on the moon from lunar materials allow many of the benefits of space-based facilities without the need to launch these into space. So we can say that the lunar regolith is an exceptional project which indeed is time consuming and expensive but if done with expertise and focus it can be achieved hence resulting in a whole new paradigm of astrophysics i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel tech traps stay tuned for many more tech savvy videos on many more trending technological topics see you in the next video signing off suhani khanna